life. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. It's all down, Jabes. Everything. The hill? All downhill from here? No, everything's down. Instagram, down. Facebook, down. Twitter DMs, down. Oh. That, that kid from life goes on, down. Right. Was that, did I take it too far with that? Quirky. Um, is it weird that I didn't even know that? That, oh, that any of the social media apparatuses were down? Mm-mm. Is that bad? Uh, no, I just am jealous, you know? Again, I, I, we've we talked about this before, it, totally. and I want to say it again. I wish I never had to use any social media at all. Uh, that was a big lick there off of that. Oh, what, are you, what are you sipping on? Listen, not a sponsor, okay? Yeah, who is it? So I'm just going to say it, but Picnic Coffee. With MC, it's like um, MCT. Yeah, the MCT in butter, so it's like the bulletproof coffee. Sorry. Ah, so uh, all the rage. All the rage. Keep it keeps you slowly. It kind of it. It's sort of like the release pills, right? Sure. The slow release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that with energy throughout the day, instead of like a big jolt of coffee and then you crash. Apparently, I know you'll probably deny all of this, right? I, I, I will and I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I will and I won't. <laughs> I, that's all I'm going to say about that. I really that. will try anything, won't I? Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> I you, believe anything. Remember that rapper uh, that got shot last year? XXX Tension. Oh, sure. Am I, am I pronouncing that right, Jamie? Is it XXX Tension? Yeah. It's, it's a tough one, That's right? That's super racist to ask him. It's not. We were just talking about hip hop right before we went on air. All right. We have a black sound man, and, and he and I were enjoying okay, it's numerous just sort of like, conversations about hip hop. I mean, Jamie also, our producer, is very Well, he's, well, he's very urban. white. He is no, you have no idea who that is, do you, Jamie? Oh, yes, he does. Huh? I'm Melvin Challenge. Okay. <laughs> he does. He probably knows more, huh? He probably knows more. I know. Uh, mm. Maybe. Maybe. Either way. Look. It, it would have helped him if he was drinking Bulletproof coffee. Nailed it um, the day before he went shopping for motorcycles. You know why I say that? Because I fucking hate that guy and he was a piece of shit. Right. I was never down with like the tributes and, and all of that shit for him where I was just like, come on, man. He was the worst human being ever. It was a podcast that somebody, uh, a listener sent in after we did that show about him. Mm-hmm about what a piece of shit he was, about right. beating his uh, pregnant girlfriend, her eye fell out of her socket and all that other shit. He was facing all these crazy charges and like, you know, right. I saw the police photos when and that, everything. Yeah. The, they released the police reports after the death and like the things that he was doing to that girl were even crazier. Than, than what they reported? Re reported and I was like, holy shit, how come this didn't come out? Uh, uh, apparently they were saving it for the trial. And uh, they didn't want all the information to leak. But mm -hmm. once, those, once he died, I guess those, those, those uh, files went public. And oof, it was brutal. Brutal. Kept her like duct taped in a room for three days. Dude. Yeah. It wasn't like the Nipsey Hustle death. No, not at where all. Where you're like just outpouring. But everybody, everybody put him on shit, you know. Uh, Lil Wayne put him on and uh, a bunch of people after, after his death. And I was like, that guy? Fuck off. Yeah, because it's the age old question, you know. What? Separating the man from the from art. From the arts. Uh, I don't, I, I, there, there's some people I can't. I'm off, I'm off the MJ train. I'm off that guy's train. Like, yeah, but uh, people are still on it. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, you know? it's the Fourth of July, James. It's about freedom, right? And right now, you're gonna if you're gonna tell me that our freedom isn't being inhibited with Instagram, Facebook, and the Twitter DMs down, what are the chances that all of these are down at the same time? Why? What do you think the reason is? If you had to conspire, conspire, conspiracy. So there was some talks because again, this is Fourth. This is our Fourth of July show. We're live on Fourth of July. No one else is doing it. No one else releasing is releasing episodes it. the night of the fourth. We're the we're on the front lines. 
the cutting edge. Cutting edge. Glory, old Everything glory. Everything else is down, but we will find a way to your ears. Yeah, to to count on penetrate us. Penetrate your ear holes. Count on us. Get rid of everything else. We're your news now. There was a thing about a week ago that said that that uh, there was a terrorist attack being planned for Fourth of July. Oh. So whenever I see shit like this all in a row, mm-hmm. it makes me wonder because if if you're when you're coming from other countries and all this that other shit, pretty much the only way to communicate is through DMs or uh, you know Twitter and all that. All that shit, like uh, even WhatsApp, because you can go from country to country. Yeah. So whenever I see all this shit down at once, I wonder if it's not the government just sucking uh, info out real quick for like an hour mm-hmm. and then being like, all right, great. We're pulling all this shit and we can find these people and then everybody can go back to, you know, sending nudes and dick pics and all that other stuff. Probably. That's what I wonder because these are all, well, Facebook owns Instagram, so that's the same entity, but Twitter isn't. So... Whenever I see shit like that, Jabes, you get I think about what's going on down behind the Ooh, scenes. Oh, you really go deep. And to take it even deeper, <laughs> it's 4th of July mm-hmm. and uh, one of our one of our favorite pastimes, our old watering holes, something that really fucking juices us up on the 4th. <laughs> um uh, drinking Jim Beam. That's oh, a okay. pastime. Tell me how it's okay. a pastime for I, me. Okay. Jim Beam is on fucking fire right now. The warehouse that is filled with 40,000 barrels of bourbon has collapsed and there is a massive fire. And does the Jim Beam just make the fire go even more because it's alcohol? Yeah, I'm looking at pictures right now and it's like, yeah, is it an old rickety warehouse that's burning down or is it the liquor? (laughs) I don't really have an answer for that, but I know this. There's going to be a lot of disappointed people on the 4th, you know? Right. Because let's face it, Jim Beam is kind of... Oh, it's, it's right that, up there yeah, with, it's with the, it's the middle. No, it's directly in the middle. No, but I mean as far as America. Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apple pie. Dogs. Baseball. Gym beams. Firework. Kids. Gym beam. Do you know gym what I beam. mean? Yeah, absolutely. Hot dogs. Uh, yeah. Gym beam. Gym beam. Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. Gym beam. Gym beam. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, white patent leather gloves. Gym beam. Gym beam. Yep. And then it's all, and then that's Highway all. births. Right. Jim Beam. Yeah. Uh, one-legged soccer players, Jim Beam. Like, that's what I think. When you think about America, you think about all of that stuff. Traffic jams, Jim Beam. Right. Butt sex, Jim Beam. Mm-hmm. I, I think about rattlesnakes fighting each other at nights with, with, with night nods on, yeah, Jim Beam. Yeah, and that's Beam. something they don't talk about a lot of butt sex on the 4th of July. Because and you, you get so fucked up yeah. that it's like, hey, it's let's try it. daytime. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Because what time are you starting, you reckon? Uh, for 4th of July? Yeah. Ooh, probably 10 a.m. Right, I got you. Yeah. So people, um, are, people are calling me now saying, hey, what time are you starting? And I'm like, brother, <laughs> I've started. <laughs> This is showbiz, baby. Do you need to get it? No, I don't need to get Put it. Put him on the show. All he, right. doesn't, he doesn't fucking know me. Let's, uh, who is it? Hello? You're live on Ross Patterson Revolution. Do you know me? You don't know me. Another fucking dirt bag. Um, I get probably about 50 of these a day from just, hi, thank you for using Marriott Rewards. Would you now, like to purchase 75,000 points? To get a prosthetic arm for your brother sent to you? No, I don't even have a fucking brother. Right. I, the arm would be for me, you know, just in case I'm, I'm tired of using these two guys to, right. to jack off with. Sure. Boom, pop that rubber don't one let on him and ruin, get Lewis. Don't let him ruin your train of thought. So butt sex yes. on 4th of 4th July. 4th of July, absolutely. Lots of it. And again. It stinks. And this is why I don't day drink anymore. And I'll leave that there. That was happening but a lot to you, huh? I mean, here's how I would always... Ju- this is just day drinking. I'm not necessarily talking about butt sex in this instance. But I am yeah. saying yep. day drinking starts with such good intentions, doesn't it? Always does. Oh, we'll be done early. We'll meet you for dinner, yeah, right? No bigs. Cut to 3 a.m. Where are my pants? Where are your pants? Yep. Why, why do the dog, why does the dog have my sister's pants on? Do you know what I mean? And it's just like, it completely 
disintegrates into the craziest shit of all time, right? Yeah, no, and you're and look, starts and out you're, so innocent. The sun's shining, kids are running around, we're drinking, birds, we're starting early, ending early. Yeah, birds are punching each other in the <laughs> face. And, you know, so, then you wake yeah. up with a, a sore asshole around so, 4 a.m. And you, you can't remember anything. You got a, you know, so a, this a is sparkler you in your hand that's halfway lit. There's a hot pocket still in the goddamn toaster oven. And you're like, what, what happened? That was 4th of July. Right. Brother. That was day drinking. That any was day, day drink, drinking. Any day drinking holiday. Yeah. Um, and so people make fun of me. Oh, you're drinking red wine in the summer. And I'm like, I have through trial and error, you fucking loser. Yeah. Through trial and error, I have figured out the combo that gets me to a place that isn't. It's comfortable. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I that get it. It doesn't disintegrate into me in a ditch with, you know. My shoes as earrings. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, I, I, I get all walking that. Down. So that's what I figured out. Uh -huh. And even white wine will get if I if I stray from that at all. And again, this is just such a cool thing about me. Sure. And I don't want to brag about my partying, you know, yeah, 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 abilities. Yeah, yeah. But I cannot drink more than three glasses of red wine, and that is all. Well, look, I'm going to be realsies with you here. We've talked about uh, we've talked about the Kyle. Uh, I, I want to say phenomenon that's taking over the world, monster energies and punching through drywall. Right. I've punched drywall before. Every single time was on Jim Beam. <laughs> Dead serious. Every single time. Starting before yep. when you start drinking the Jim Beam, like before three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the, here's kind of the lay of the loo, if you will, for Jim Beam. There's the shitty whiskey that is Southern comfort. I cannot get down on that whatsoever, right? It's got a sweet smell. Yeah. Smells very, like very puke. Yeah. Sweet smell. Yeah. S sweet smell. Um, can't soak on lime. You want to soak on lime? Nope. Okay. Never. I never want one, you know, after having one, even saying the word SoCo, every single person who's listening at home or watching this on YouTube a little smells bit puke. it. You, you smell it. You already know it. You're like, oh, fuck. A little bit God puke. God damn it. Up. I smell SoCo right now as you're talking about it, right? Then the step up from that is Jim Beam, where you're like, ah, all right. It's not, it's not the most expensive. And then just, just beyond that is Jack Daniels, right? Just, just beyond that. When you start getting into Buffalo Trace and the other fucking bullshit that's super expensive, right. you just wrote off about 90% of America. And congratulations if you're able to drink that. Um, we, we are. But a lot of people aren't, right? Sure. And that's the problem with this factory burning down is that's 40,000 gallons that were going out to America. That's their mid range whiskey that your, your chances are your butt fucking on. Right. Right. The people I so really, are we saying the butt fucking that's going to go down, it's going to go down this year. And the people I feel for are the people who were like, man, they woke up this morning and they were like, man, I'm going to hit the liquor store, get some Jim beam, get on my, my uncle's boat because he's out of town and then probably <laughs> butt fuck someone. On my uncle's dinghy. Gone. I'm going to get 10 to 12 people on yeah. there. <laughs> I'm going to go to Havasu, brother. And I'm going to butt fuck. Now, 40,000 barrels of it, man. It's not gallons. It's barrels. That's I, another Kyle thing is Havasu. <sighs> oh, yeah. Havasu. Just Havasu. Yeah. If you know, you're a Kyle. If you know, you know, right? <laughs> if you know, you know. But with this 40,000 barrels gone, I'd, I'd say you probably eliminated, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go soft estimate here, 12,000 people that aren't going to butt fuck on the 4th of July. That's a soft, very soft estimate. I'm going to say butt sex. Something uh, you, about butt. Oh, butt fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, people aren't tuning into this show. Uh, to hear the ABCs, you know, the onesie twosies of life. Right. But I don't think they're tuning in to hear a gal say butt fuck <laughs> over and over. And it's something not, about that. It just really. I would not sell yourself short on that. I don't know. I think, I think they are. I think occasionally they want to hear you get riled up and they want to hear you use no, language. No, because, like, you know, if I was comfortable with it, book. maybe. <laughs> but it's my hesitation with it. Mm. That I that think and the word will, cunt. You always hesitate on the word cunt as well. Yeah, I think there's certain words, and even fuck when I say that. It's like, I know it doesn't, to a lot of people, it's going to be like, eh. It's yeah. a cringy thing to, to see someone as beautiful as myself. Sure. 
say such ugly words. And are you putting on lipstick right after saying how beautiful people you love are? it? Yeah, the people love it. They asked me to do it. Subscribe on YouTube. You you can see a woman who just said the word butt fuck apply lipstick to her face. But I won't do it anymore. No, and that's Fourth of July. That's what it's like on the fourth. Boners. Yeah. Trump's got <laughs> tanks coming down the streets in the parade. People are oh, flipping God. out over that. Um, boycott the Trump Fourth of July because he's got he's 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 putting military into the parade and he's having tanks roll down the street with the military and they're waving to the kids and all that other shit and uh, can't have that. No, you, you can't can't nope. have uh, American flag shoes. MSNBC is not going to show the Fourth of July parade now. Yep. So you can just do that as a network now. You can just take it off the air and do whatever you want because you're living in your own country. You're making up your own rules. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter anymore. What I'm saying to you out there is this. If you were were looking to buttfuck on on 4th of July, right? You can't get a bottle of beam in your area. Um, Send me a a gift certificate. Like send me just a, a, a receipt of whatever whiskey you bought. I will give you 10 cents back and then hopefully that'll help you. Okay, you're wanting feel a confident receipt, to butt fuck. not a gift certificate. No, no, no. That sounded like you were asking people to send I w- you I was initially going to ask them to give me a gift certificate to, to Red Lobster, <laughs> something American. No, we're not going to, we're not asking you to do that, guys. Um, but I'll give you 10 cents off of you if you just screenshot your whiskey receipt uh, other than Jim Beam. Okay. And uh, I'll give you a dime. And we'll send out. Um, I'll give you 10 cents. A dime. And it will be a hard, uh, the actual dime or yep. 10 pennies, whatever we can kind of get together. And it will be in a floppy envelope. Yep. And I'll, we'll ship um, that off to you. We won't tape it. So we're not sure it will make it. No. It will definitely fall out the top. My caveat to this is you've got to go to the, the parade in Washington, the Trump parade. Um, so we're going to need proof of you there. Proof of the whiskey. Oh God. No, and then- I just want to. Proof just, of your butt fucking afterwards, right? I don't need to see the, the physical act itself. All I want to see is a look of his or her disappointment afterwards. Because I'm not saying a dude can't be boned by another dude. It's America. It's the fourth, you know? This is why we can't have nice or things. do nice things because of this shit. Um, you just disintegrate a nice little thing into fucking a pile of shit. No, no. I, uh, I'm improving America. <laughs> One we're show like, at oh, a time. We're like, oh, Look at this. send us, send us your receipt, your whiskey receipt for another kind. We'll send you ten cents, ten and cents. then now you need proof of them at the parade, proof that they had butt sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's just to get the ten cents. And so though. then it's like, then they're done. That's now just they're to out. Get the ten cents. I guarantee you, one at least one or two listeners out there does it, and then congratulations, you're going to end up with uh, a little silver in that pocket. You know, who's right. on the dime? Jefferson? Nobody knows that answer. Yeah, so you, you bet. You betcha. Tale as old as time, you know. It always is. It always is. Uh, speaking of butt sex, um, we got one of those Arabian prince, prince dudes found dead at an orgy death, which is great. And I'm going wh- to say his uh, full name here. Good uh, luck. Amir of Shraja, uh, Prince... Khalid, it's always a Khalid. Mm-hmm. Um, Al Qasami died at age 39 today um, after a crazy night of sex and drugs orgy. Boy. And what happened? Was it here or was it in? No, they found his body um, there. The staff did. But okay. uh, this is, look, I'm, look, I'm sad for this guy, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know him. I, I don't know what his whole stitch was. Uh, why I'm sad for this is they've got some pictures with some of the women he was with. And if you're going to do it like a drug fueled orgy, that's the way you do it. Probably, huh? probably the way you do it. If that's the way you're going to go out. Yeah. Love uh, it. And an ambulance was called and they said, we, <laughs> the person on the phone said, we've got a quantity of class A drugs. Class A. I've never heard it before. I like it. Now, what is in the, cl- the A class? Don't know. The good uh, stuff, I guess. So huh? the, 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 they said there was apparently a party where some guests were, were all taking drugs and having sex. And um, he, he died as a result of the drugs, probably not the sex, in this, um, this urgent internal probe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and, uh, mm-hmm. But the staff knew. And he was in uh, whatever country that is over in the Middle East. 
Sure. Could be an Arabia of some sort. Uh, could be the Qatar. Whatever it is. Standard prints. You know what I'm saying? White thing and then the black kind of headbandy thing that goes yeah. around it, wrapped around it. Yep. 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 Um, yep. 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 So uh, the detectives are, are treating this tragedy as unexplained right now. But everybody else is telling you what happened, that he was having a, a drug-fueled orgy. Sure. And, um, and that, that whole thing I can appreciate, obviously. Yeah. Kind of like the David Ortiz thing where it was just like, hey, man, we know what happened here. Right. Don't try to fool us with this haberdashery. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah. Um, I don't need your tomfoolery. It was one story that they just seemed like they did not want to eat. I mean, they were not going deep at all which no. they love to do yeah and this one there's like yeah you got shot so um anyway moving on fun recipes for your make ahead monday and you're like you it's, know what i mean it's like when somebody taps you on the shoulder you know like a little kid and then you look and it's the other shoulder and you're like oh man you got me and then the kid walks away and it's just like you fucking idiot yeah. you didn't get me yeah that's that when you do things like this that's what you're doing you're mm -hmm. tapping my other shoulder Mm -hmm. And then saying, I got you. you, you didn't get me. Right. I don't need to, I don't need to buy into your, your, your fucking bullshit. Now, sure. I, look, as a parent, I understand maybe, you know, they're trying to cover it up of like, no, he was, he was good, but he was 39. Yeah. He's 39 years old. Yeah. So look, if you're, if you're, a, look, and that's the other thing. If you're a prince in one of these countries and you're having drugs and orgies, that's exactly what I expect out of you. Yeah. So. Good on, That's I, what I just always picture them doing. So if you're going to go out in this life, look, there's a bunch of other ways to, to, to do it. And, uh, um, that's probably the top of the list. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, I think a tricycle. Accident what do we got? What do we got over in there? there in the traffic would be. Yeah. The first one like that. I don't want. What do we got? Some big naturals over there. What, what was mean? the, what was the, uh, partying with? Oh, the girl? Some big naturals, some big booties. What's going on? You know, she, she kind of looked like an American girl, and that's kind of the jam over there where they, they'll, they'll go on Instagram. I mean, it's down now. So, look, again, Maybe that's... butt sex is down. Instagram's down. This is where they get whores. Oh, right? on Instagram. And yes. Like, Mentions so overseas, them and pay them. And... Yeah, we had a, so we have a guy. Man, I, I don't want to. I'm going to tread lightly on this one as well. I know I said that the other show. We have a guy who is the go-between for that whole shit over there and like Instagram models. You know who it is. Is he in Australia? No. No, he's not in Australia. Okay. Then I don't know oh, who it is. Oh, I know. You're talking about... Yes. He was involved <laughs> in some of that. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I don't, he does not do that anymore. But uh -huh. yes, he used to do that. And um, then it's someone else that I know. Maybe coming into town today. Um, who knows? Really? Yeah. Well, that answers every uh, question I've well, here, ever had here, about here's the thing, said like, person. Well, no, but here's the thing: is like I'm sure initially it's like, hey, can we can we book for sure. a, a model shoot? How about oh, can we book for a model so shoot? So beautiful model shoot. Yeah, model yeah, shoot. yeah, 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 yeah. Does he go with them? How uh, are they taken care of, like so security wise? My, the first friend that I had that you were talking about, yes, he used to go with them. And there was security that so, went with them. Yeah. But once the night was over, whatever happened, happened at that point. Sure. Like, but at least you have, you, you have someone there to be like, 100%. you good? You yep. good? Yeah. Okay, fine. And then, you know, make sure you get to the airport the next day. Basically. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot of money to turn down. And some of these girls, they're getting a hundred a pop for a night with a prince. Cause those guys don't give a fuck. We talked about that one dude who, who put that, uh, what was it the, the painting that was $150 million is on his yacht? Just yeah, sitting there just on his yacht. threw it in the So what do you think? A galley? Paint, paint an Instagram girl, a hundred grand to go over and bang and have a no private, bigs, private jet dude. and everything? That's a Tuesday, brother. <sighs> and look, if, if, if I saw the, the, the Jim Beam thing on fire, I would exploit that and say, look, man, whatever you were going to do, whatever you were doing on the 4th, Sure. Probably ruined. Right. How about you fly over to Qatar or, or whatever right. the fuck that's it is? A, that's a Russian, but yeah, definitely. Eh. But look, look I never, who I, knows? And I mean, never been to that country. Not, not, never heard that not dialogue going up close to, and personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But if, I, would be, I would be on the prowl right now saying, look, the beam factories burn up. Why uh -huh. don't you get on the private jet and come over here and we can ride a camel together? Right. 
two humps. Right. You know, and nothing. You know? Yeah. We can just have a quick two humps. Your call. And so, real quick, how do you get involved? With, should I have a little convo with him? Just wondering how no, you get that so kind here's of. Here's the thing. They'll start with verified accounts. Okay, so I need to be verified. Or somebody. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, someone yeah. needs to be verified. Not me. Whatever. The person needs to be verified. Sure. Whatever, sure, whatever, sure, sure. whatever. Not me, obviously. And it's typically those big model accounts where it's just like, mm-hmm. you know, you scroll through and you, you're, you're like, oh, homegirl's got like 2.4 million followers. Who is that? Right. I don't know who that is. And then, boom, that's mm-hmm. the ones you pick off of like, okay. all right, cool. So that they, if something happens. Because to monetize an Instagram account and get 100 grand for one pop, right. it's a lot. Yeah. Or you could boop, go on boop, the, uh, boop, boop, the private boop. jet over there and boop, then, boop, boop. you know? Talking about things that'll never happen to me. Um, happened again the other night. My friends were all sitting around after the gala. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Front yeah, line yeah. for the kitties. Yes. For the gala, we're all sitting around. We're talking about... It's me and two of my friends, and we're talking about another one of our friend. They're worried about her. She's getting too skinny. Mm. She's not. But Do I know her? You know all of them. Oh, all right. You know all of them. Sure. Um, and I just was like, and I was sitting there, and I listen, and I listen, and listen, and then I just go, you guys. And they're like, we, we think we're going to, we should probably say something to her because, but will she get mad? And I go, by the way, guys, as someone who it's my personal dream for a friend, two friends, yeah, to have an intervention with me and tell me that they're worried because I'm getting too skinny. As that person, I'm going to tell you right now, she won't be pissed. Ah. It's not something you get pissed about. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, because, oh gosh, I just, I don't want her to get mad. Yeah. She won't get mad. You throw up prayers for her? What are you guys doing for her? I you guess they're talking. Look, I don't talk to people about losing weight. Do you? Uh, let me ask you this. I don't say, hey, I'm worried about you. You're losing lady, weight. Unless you are a skeleton. Yeah. I'm just going to be jealous you of you. You don't put like a fucking lasagna on their front porch and just ring the doorbell <laughs> and run away? <laughs> I would do that. And then just write a note that just says, take a hint. Have a bite. Yeah. Take a hint. Have skin a and burger. Bones. Yeah. yeah. You just put a bag of cookout, a, a triple stack on their porch. Jam that doorbell three times. Bing, 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 bing. And yeah, then run off. Yeah, no. And we just don't. write on the bag, eat it, bitch. We don't do eat that. Eat some meat, bitch. Definitely, we don't do that. Why not? We just don't uh, treat each other that way. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, I just thought. Yeah, as a male, I've never a, had dude. one friend in my entire life where I was like, oh, he is too skinny. No? No. Because it, it's for dudes, it's genetic. Like, unless you see somebody who's not physically right, eating that's where you're been, just like right right or hey, someone man. that has been bigger or normal size and they're all of a sudden without working out a lot yeah losing a bunch of weight i guess the worry would be like are you sick like do you need to get some stuff check out because like AIDS. people don't exactly like people don't without working out or without like not eating lose that much weight when i see dudes that get skinny yeah uh, again again it hasn't happened to me and my friends um i i look at him i'm like do you have aids and that's pretty much my go-to i just look right at him sorry to bother you do you have aids right and then i i get either a yay or a nay and then i i I bounce right out of there okay you know Mm -hmm. um and that's to strangers and you leave no matter what the answer is yep yeah, if it's yes or no, I'm Do like, you, great. You don't Could even it? hear the answer, right? You just ask them and then you I leave. hear it on the, on the way back, you know? It's kind of like right. like a whistle outside of a New York cab at a hot girl where you're just like, <laughs> like you just kind of, <laughs> like right. you catch part of it and you're like, oh, fuck. All right, cool. Yeah, so it's, if I get a yay or a nay on the AIDS thing, I'll hear it over my shoulder as I'm walking away from them. Obviously, I'm not helping them one way or the other, um, but yeah. I need to know that answer just to go on with my day, Jabes. So in, in the dude circle, yeah, AIDS, this doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Sponsors, or are we good? Oh, on AIDS, yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> Ghostbed uh, loves it. Don't ghostbed. they? Ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros. They're just cool. With if it. you're gonna get AIDS, it's probably through butt sex, unprotected, and it should be on a ghost bed. Feel free to go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Get AIDS. You guys, uh, we're in the eye fuck. of the storm right now. We're, I don't know if you can hear that. It's here. We but, are in the uh, eye of the storm. It's, it's probably a heat storm. Um, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is the only place you can get AIDS exclusively um, 
on a no on, on, nope no i don't think they're not I mean, doing exclusive here's the thing. ghost bed is cool everyone that works there and that we've worked with yes very cool. on um yeah the management side and ownership side super cool aids free real cool yep and then, but I still don't think maybe they would be into the association. With uh, HIV, AIDS, yes, not HIV. HIV is what you have before AIDS. Um, no, but I think they would want to know that everybody's at least having sex on their mattresses. So now's your chance. The 4th of July seals are through the roof. I mean, they're like fireworks. They're explosive. Explosive. <laughs> Gangbusters. <laughs> Um, and look, if you're, if you're look, butt fucking getting AIDS, doing whatever, whatever you want, get a ghost bed mattress and do that on, um, maybe prop your pillow up. Sure. Prop up a pillow. Kind of, uh, what do you call that? Um, Remember those triangle pillows back in the day that you could have sex yeah, on? Yeah. The Arabian, uh, hammock. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so maybe you're getting into an Arabian hammock, whatever you're doing, do it right. I don't know what it's uh, If you're military or first responder, 15% off forever on their mattresses scroll down to the bottom of the page and again take advantage of their deals they are massive i wonder if charlie sheen got aids on a ghost bed um he's had it for a while i'm gonna, I'm gonna send him a tweet well the ghost bed's been around for a while so uh next up we got strikeforceenergy.com <laughs> Blinkers. Blinkers. You almost you don't even have to make those noises because of the thunder and lightning. And I know. So, I'm not sure because the mics are so good. But if yeah, they're picking they're, them up, the but audience probably won't pick it up. It no, is no, really, but you can feel it in our voice. I feel like the, you the know, trembling. Oh, oh, I'm shivering. Oh, I'm shivering. Like that that type of fear sure. is what you hear in my voice right now. That was uncomfortable for me. I know that's uncomfortable for me too. Uh, Strike are you force energy's like, got four? talking like that. What's mm -mm. that? Just you talking like that. I'm shivering. Mm -mm. Oh my God, I'm shivering. Strike Force Energy's got uh, the, the best. Uh, uh, the finest energy in the land. Orange, original, grape, and lemon. Got a lot of it in my 4th of July drinks. Uh, what the fuck was that, Jesse? Come on, man. <laughs> this show. I'm reading sponsors. This show is a disaster. You're, you're out <laughs> we here. We are going to shoot float away. Shooting shit off. In the studio, um, go to strikeforceenergy.com. We're in the eye of a storm here. <laughs> it is a, a hurricane. That is churros caught up in a hurricane. That are, I think that's the next thing besides Sharknado. It's hurricane and it's just churros. Like a, they, they, a hurricane takes, uh, takes over a Mexican cart yeah, but and just what are shoots off churros at people. What are people scared of? Are they if you get hit with a churro, right. it, it is dangerous right. to say the least. Uh, Strike Force Energy, though, will protect you and keep you up all night in case there is a churro cane. <laughs> you can stay up for five to seven hours and fight off those churros with your wrists and your arms and legs. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Um, they ship everywhere <laughs> in the inside world. You're the churro cane, dude. That's a big fear of mine. Yeah. Is churros... Inside of a hurricane. Last but not least, this is what you came for, Jabes, on the 4th. Uh, some little people who built this country. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Mm. You wreck it? Yeah. The only oh. reason uh, we're able to celebrate fireworks on the 4th is because of China. Uh, they invented fireworks. Did they really? They did. So you're welcome. You're welcome for them. You're welcome for that. Some people say you've been doing that voice just to lead up to 4th of July so you could praise them. I don't know if that's true. Eh, I don't know if any of this is true that we're talking about today. But we're here. We're wet. We're wild. We're young and fancy free. Well, we aren't that young. I'm pretty young. Yeah. I'm a lot. I'm you're like, young for I'm, sure. Yeah, I like am very old. Six or seven summers younger than you. Yeah. Uh, Straightrazors.com has got everything you need in this life to be a real man. To be shaven. Chauvin. Is it chauvin? Is that the past tense? No. Nope. Yep. Chauvin. Shorn. Shorn. There it is. There <laughs> I it don't is. know. Look, this show airs on the 4th. You should, have, you should have already gotten your razor and been shorn by the 4th. Right. If not, go now. What's the next big holiday that's coming up? Um, 
Labor Day, right? Labor Day, yeah, that's right? right? Everybody knows that. Yeah. I knew it. So like that. if you're not shorn for Labor Day, shorn up for, for I mean, shorn for 4th of July, shorn up for Labor Day. And uh, you never know when that party is going to strike. You're out barbecuing, having a couple Zimas together, laughing. Um, Have you been drinking today? Yeah, a lot. Oh, okay, okay. A lot. <laughs> lots uh, of questions have just been answered. Lots of uh, answers have just been questioned by you. Uh, go to straightrazors.com. <laughs> Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. That's a big, big savings there. Um, where, Alec, where are you going today on the 4th of July? Where, where are you, where are you scooting off to? Look at those little glasses. I'm not going to let you scoot out of here, Alec. Let him. He needs We've to, got our, our, our very young producer here. He's 21. Let him go to the He's bathroom little, or something. Can you come on camera real quick? Oh I, I want to. Can we show these glasses to what you're wearing on the 4th of July to the world? There's, oh, there's Dan's glasses? Come in right behind me because I believe this is a split screen. <laughs> uh, this is Alec. This is Alec Wenning. And uh, you've got some. <laughs> Look at how small Some flirty those little 4th uh, of July glasses on. And Where, you guys, you he those? was not. Thinking he was going to be on camera, he was literally just wearing those. Yeah. Dan gave them to me as a present. Dan Aww. gave them to you as a present. So I wouldn't make eye contact with Dan. So Fair he wouldn't enough. make eye contact with Dan because he Dan blushes. will appreciate it. Listen to this, ladies. He's single and he's cute as a button. So you can you can find him. Where where are you at, Alec Wenning on uh, Instagram? Just Alec Wenning. Yeah. Simple as can be. DM him wow. some tit pics. Wow. J it can just be one singular tit. Um, thanks, Alec. Could be a dude Happy tit, fourth. too. Yeah. Happy 4th. Any, any kind of tit could be dog tit. So is it dude at, tit. it's at Alec Wenning? A-L-E-C-W-E-N-N-I-N-G, right? Great. If okay, now let him go. He can you go. You know, but out, somebody out there sent Alec a, a tit pick on the 4th. Um, I don't want him to close his little peepers at night without seeing a tit on the 4th of July. I really don't. Are you single? Do you have a girlfriend? He's he used to. Great. He doesn't anymore. Therefore, he needs a tit pic. Yeah. So, again, he said used to because he just lost the girlfriend. Hashtag with that one tit for Alec. We should start that hashtag on Instagram. Go to Ross Patterson Revolution Instagram and uh, whatever the post is, just ha hashtag he's not it into, one tit for Alec. He's not into cl like cleavage, like two tits. It's just, just he one likes tit. just the one. Unitit. Yeah. Yeah. A singular tits. Cool, 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 yeah, cool. Yeah, we've cool. got some friends with, with uh that same thing. What? Um Unit? just into one tit, yeah. It's called it's called unit tit. Um mad people know it. Everybody knows it. Uh, I want to talk about uh that Russell Crowe thing. Do we discuss this on the air or we we're talking about this off air? Did I bring it up to you? On the show? I don't remember. No, I mean in real life. We didn't talk yes, about it. Yes, in real the life, because he was doing all these, he was doing he's been a doing bunch all of these press. interviews for the new Showtime series, The yes. Loudest Voice. Yes, about Roger Ailes. Correct. The rise and fall of Roger Ailes. And, Fox I, and I said this about a year ago because this show is being made and then the movie's coming out as well this uh, winter, December, I think it's coming out, right? Well, his is not the same. Uh, it is not the same. Yeah, yeah. So this one's the Correct. Showtime series. This okay, is the okay. Showtime series. All right. But my point was when these were announced last year mm -hmm. was. Who's your audience for this? Besides, because this is one of those pitches inside Hollywood that you're like, oh man, yeah, fuck him, fuck Fox News, fuck right. all this shit, and everybody's on our side and they're gonna love this. And mm -hmm. I was like, no. And I was like, I, I, even if this scandal happened at CNN or NBC or whatever, like Matt, like Matt Lauer, right? For example, I don't really want to see that story. I don't want to see it. Like it sucked, and I believe everyone, but I don't. I don't really I don't want to see that story. See it. That's not going to be, especially serialized. I don't want to watch that every no. fucking day. Um, the reason why I bring it up, it is the least watched premiere of Showtime this year. Two least watched. Least watched. So I was 100% correct in that assessment last year. Sure. The viewership was 299,000 viewers. That's it. That's like for one of our shows. More. I mean, that's it, fucking crazy. Yeah, that's not even as much. As, as one, one podcast. So what do you think? It, you think it's that? I think because it's people that. People just don't really want to see it. Who, well, who does that register with? In America where you're like, oh man, I definitely want to see this story. Relive it, that whole thing. Because they're, the movies, they're, they're trying to put the movie up for Oscars, right? Looking at this, 
Who's going to see that movie now? I mean, this had Russell Crowe. Because you don't Crow. get better than Russell Crowe, by the way. No. And Naomi Watts, right? Sienna Miller's in it. I mean, I mean that's... Seth MacFarlane was a little... Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't know why they keep putting Seth MacFarlane I, I as don't an know. actor in but things. But anyways, as far as your main character, you don't get better than Russell Crowe. No. So I'm, I'm not really sure what happened there ex- except for what you said. And what I don't... I don't know if I said it on air or just to you but all the press that he was doing he was um really praising him and not yeah, talking yeah. about the real root of the story at all and i i wonder what happened with that because it was a little uncomfortable yeah I, where there's like listen guys we got to focus on the good things that he did yeah, <laughs> and they're yeah, like yeah, yeah savannah guthrie's like i mean but do we <laughs> Do we have to discuss the good yeah. things he did? And I don't again, think that's what we're really here for, Russell. And but he's not, funny. And it's not that we don't believe any of these people or whatever. I just don't no, know absolutely why you'd want to watch I mean, that as a on. television show. Exactly. And I think because there's like three of these Me Too projects coming out. Mm-hmm. There's one about Harvey Weinstein. Uh, there's the movie, the Roger Ailes movie that's coming out. I, I don't know who's going to watch any of that shit, to be honest with you. Again, for me, it's like whether I believe you or not, which I do believe these people in the Roger Ailes situation, it's pretty well documented and right. Yeah, I do believe them. I just don't really want to see that creepiness play out. I pretty much know from personal experience, which most women do, how that goes down. And it's really, really uncomfortable. So I wonder if that's part of it. For me, that's why I didn't want to watch it again. Like. I do believe everyone in this particular story, and it was probably horrible for Gretchen Carlson. Is that her name? What's Gretchen the, Carlson. I think Megan Kelly was. Uh, there was a there was a bunch of people. I don't worry about Megan, but she's. A, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Gretchen, I think, got the brunt of it, and is is um, you know, apparently started the Me Too movement with this one move. So gotcha. I get it. I get it. It's a big deal, but again, I don't think many women want to just see that um that's not uh fiction do you know what i mean yeah yeah. it it just sort of is a little bit too creepy to to go down that road and we kind of are like yeah we know what happened been there my don't really my question is if you're if you're roger ailes right and you're going through this whole thing why why not just go the fucking david foster route here um because he just got married to to Catherine mcphee super uh, creepy yeah yeah Around He's, the same age as his daughter. Uh, but that's the thing. is like Roger Ailes is, was uh, 60s or whatever when all this was going down. David Foster, 69, which, well, look, I applaud the year, obviously, and I don't want to take anything away from that age because that's the golden age of life. And they sort of met in the same way. Like, he was producing her, you know, he's in the music industry. So yeah. they sort of met in the same way. And sometimes Me Too's work out like us. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't. But when they don't, it's really, really creepy. So I, I want to point out, I was the victim in, in our Me Too. Um, so uh, that, that happens. Nobody believes that shit. But and anyway. I, but, but look, he's clearly able to, to grab some hot ass here. But Catherine again, McPhee, it's, it's pretty, pretty goddamn hot. They're in, she's right. got a bikini photo right now because yeah. so they're, they're on their honeymoon here. Uh, looks like the gorgeous Italian island of Capri. Obviously, oh, that everybody you would know it. You would know it never anywhere. Been there, actually. Yeah, never been there actually. Um, on a yacht, the whole nine, the whole sure. shit. It looks like I'm looking at these pictures right now. She's wearing a thong, k- killing the game, right? Mm-hmm. It looks like he is taking his daughter out. Like, oh, college is out of, out of, yeah. The semester. I like to play that. I like to play that game in LA. I'm sure you've done it too at a restaurant where you play dad or boyfriend. Uh, Lakers games. We used to do dad or boyfriend and Lakers games all the time. And I'm always wrong. No matter what I pick, I'm always wrong. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not uncommon, but geez. We did I tell you, uh, Dylan, my friend? He got uh, he he got a little me tooed by an older female producer. Is that me too? I no, it, it wasn't, but it was super uncomfortable because it was like, hey, man, sure. He was up for a lot of jobs with right, her. Right, right, right. So we were speaking of the Lakers game, and this is what triggered this. I mean, I'm going way off the fucking rails today, but uh, sure. Um, we called because we had these amazing seats for the Lakers game right behind the bench. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> we called it the Kobe rub because it was when Kobe was playing for the mm-hmm. Lakers. And she purposely, like when we sat in the four of us, you know, you walk into a row. Yeah. And I don't know if you do this with your friends, like if you're going to a concert or a movie or whatever, you go in right away after the person you really want to sit next to. Yeah. Um, so she had cut us off at the path. Oh, we okay. knew she had liked him. Mm. She squirted in there. Probably a bad Gosh, choice of words. I don't know. Um, but she's, she squeezed in there right before us, right? Mm-hmm. Got the seat next to him so that he was on the outside. She was there and we, there was no barrier. You know, we couldn't reach over to him or whatever. And it was just like, and Kobe, best in the biz, obviously, crushing it, knew that we all loved Kobe. Right. Dropping points. Every time he scored, she would give him this Kobe rub. She'd be like, oh, Kobe. Like to Kobe. Dylan? Yes, on his thigh, like on right above, like, and it started getting like inching up, like as Kobe kept scoring more points. And I leaned over to my buddy and I was like, yo, if Kobe drops 50 tonight, he's getting jacked he's off getting inside Staples Center. He's getting straight up jacked off. <laughs> Kobe scored 42 that night. And, mm, uh, so we didn't quite so see. I want to say this. You got a pinky on the head. Okay. Probably, he probably, it looked like a pinky on the head of the penis. Now that, when I joke with D'Anthony, co-host in the other show, when Drinking I joke bros, with yep. him about Bruiser, yeah. that's exactly the type of gal that I'm talking about. Yeah. And I joke with him that he's with those types of people. He's not. But well, like a cougar that's gonna, you we, know, look, no, that's a bruiser. Who are into like uh, older women who look like strippers, and that's a thing too. Sure. So that's Dan. That's Anthony. You know? He likes older women that look. Like- he likes a. I, is we we actually chatted about this off air, and I'm sure he'll be super amped that we're talking about it on air today. <laughs> um, he said because we were talking about this Catherine McPhee thing, and I was like, Yo. Does he really not want us to? I don't give a fuck. It's too late. Uh, you're it's in happening. This, you're in it. We're okay, all in so it together. Yeah, in this yeah, media yeah. company. Um, so I said, What's the what's the fucking story here? Like this this twenty, and he's like, ah, instead of twenty four, give me thirty eight or forty anytime because they know what the fuck they're doing. And I can have yeah. yeah, and I can have a conversation and whatever. And he goes, and I'll take intelligence. He goes, I'll take a I'll take a seven. An older woman, seven with intelligence versus a hot, dumb 24 year old. Yeah. Um, the consensus for every, the peanut gallery here all the way around was like, You're dumb. What? Yeah. But we all, everybody's got that friend who's just like, Yeah, that's, but that's what I'm But then you into. also said, in the same breath, you, you have also said that if you are talking to a girl, no matter how hot she is, and she's dumb as shit, yeah. she becomes unattractive to you. Completely. Now, listen. One night's not going to kill anybody, right? No, it's not. But <laughs> no. as far as like you actually being invested. Yeah, for the long. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah. Uh, brunch is probably off the table the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's like, look, we were, we were going to have endless mimosas and then you were yeah, like dummy. we could maybe party and like hang out and see how this, th- where these, yeah. uh, this can take us. We can go buy a, like a fun casino game for casino right? night and then just put it on the bed and, you know, spin and, and throw money at each other. But uh, that's off right. the table now. Right. So, eh, it is what it is. But uh, good on David Foster. Shit, man. I mean, that's crazy to pull that kind of ass at that, that age. Yeah. And with with the confidence of like, yeah, but that's money. the thing. You still mentally as a man have to have enough confidence to be like, ah, yeah, she totally wants to fuck me. It's like, no, David, I'm really sorry. No, you you have to shut down the voice that's saying she only wants you for your money. And that must be a really hard thing to do in the middle, you know, in the middle of the night when you're in your study by yourself and you're really being real with yourself. It must be hard to shut that voice down. Yeah. Because that's all it is. Especially when she's watching Frozen in the other room singing it word Let for it word. Let it go. Let it go. At the top of her lungs. Um, mm-hmm. Having sleepovers. Right. Uh, that, that's when it gets in tough. In her jammies. Yeah. In her jam jams. In her jam jams. Uh, but let me flip it to you. Do you have any friends that would marry an older dude like this? Yeah. Because she's 30. Me. He's 69. Well, fuck it. Daddy, <laughs> zaddy. That's, that's 70 years old. That's too much. That's too fucking who's much. My, who's my daddy? Who's the... Uh, who's Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. 
How old is Kurt Russell? Is he 65? Is that what it is? He's getting up there. Goldie's definitely 70. Yes, she is. So they are they are close. She's a little bit older than him. Uh, so you'd be you'd be fine with uh, I, Oh, yes. It's, all right. Here's the difference. Oh, yes, I would. Pull he's 68. Up. By the time me and him are together, he's going to be 71. <laughs> so we're, uh, you asked me, do you have any friends? Yeah. 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 All right. Yes. But and it, not David Foster. I'm sorry. He just doesn't yeah, you do put up, it If you put up me. a picture of Kurt Russell and David Foster, it's just not the same ballpark. It's not the same 70. Do you no, know what I mean? No, it's not. And how old is David Foster? You actually know, you have a real He's number 69. on that? He's 69. Okay. He's 69. I don't just throw the number 69 oh, out. Oh, I didn't hear. Sorry. I thought you said he was like for almost. For no reason whatsoever. Basically 70. Yeah. So, I don't um, do it. Uh, do we have a crime corner today? And certain things, one second, and certain ah. things um, are more attractive to certain people, right? So she's in the music industry, so I'm sure he he can play piano. He is very... You know what I mean? Very oh, musically pianist. inclined. Yeah, a nice pianist. Yeah. Yep. So that probably is attractive to her. Mm. Kurt mm. speaks all the languages that I need to be spoken to me. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Wine. What's that? Loving the wine. Uh -huh. Wine lover. Every picture of him on Instagram is him smelling wine in a it, with the barrels behind him in a vineyard. Oh, you follow him on Instagram? <laughs> is that surprising to you? I need to know what I'm going to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, smelling the barrels. I bet he goes to sleep early, oh. too. I, he yeah. has to. He has to. <laughs> Except for this, you know, c a couple of fun flirty nights that, you know, him and Goldie, soon to be me, are going to be by the fire right. outside drinking, you know, in those like big, you know, those chairs that look like a log, pieces of log cabin. And they're oversized. Oversized. Yeah. And they have those all by the Big fan of those. Fireplace. Yeah. Colorado usually. Yep. Yeah. That's where they are. What are they called? Anirondikes? Yeah. But the big, big wood yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's almost as if you've never thought about this for more and than I and four I to haven't. five hours every single day of your life. And I haven't. But, you know, you posed the you t you, t you question. I did. No. Who's an older gal? Yep. Or we all know that you would be with a 24-year-old. That's not a fucking question. I just don't want to hear it. I, no what one, about no an older gal? Is there an older gal that Yikes. you would... You guys talked about this actually on the live. You went YouTube live. I did, yeah. With Dan. And um, um, thank you for all your guys' input, Christy by the way. Christy Brinkley was the... Uh, true. Aniston, 50. Yes, Jennifer Aniston is 50. You um, know, I think... And and there's something about them, right? Is B. That Arthur they, still alive from the Golden Girls? Anyways, we have a crime going. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in, brother. We have a uh, crime corner. We've got a corner. crime corner. James, pop it off. Crime Corner! Crime Corner! So this is for... I had, to, I had to take a Crime Corner from a new detective. Okay. And then I am going to throw a quick Shane Goodman one in there. I don't know how oh, he man. sends me all the best shit, but Merck... Merck 5000. Okay. Um, and a couple of other people. This is sent to me a couple times, but woman is Merck 5000 an Instagram handle. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. Check them out. Merck. What up? Woman banned from Walmart after eating half a cake in the store and then refused to pay full price for it. <laughs> for Which cake. I go. Yeah, I go. There's my, you know, me. Mm hmm. Yep. You found you found my or my mom at uh, Walmart. So she she picks up the cake and then and this is the sort of thing with the other lady that's drinking wine out of the Pringles, yeah, yeah, can, Pringles can and yeah. riding that ride along thing around. The scooter, yeah. In Walmart, it just sort of seems like anything goes. It, Do you know what I mean? You walk in the does. doors and you just go, There's nothing that I can do that's any worse than what people are currently doing in this place right now. So she grabs the cake, uh -huh. like a big cake from the bakery, sure. eat, proceeds to eat half of it walking just in her shopping travels, mm. right? 
walking around the store. And then when she, they asked her to pay for it, she was like, I'm not going to pay for the cake because it's only half. Man. Which is just so great. And then I bet she didn't have to. You know what I mean? When police arrived to the scene, they found the woman in a nearby restaurant where police notified her that she was banned from Walmart. So can't arrest her. You know, That's they great. just have to say, hey, you can't go into Walmart. No, anymore. And I, I get it. And I hear all that. Which is sad is I, w- I would rather be arrested personally than be banned from Walmart. I don't like Do I, you know what I, mean? I can see I can see her point and why she would eat half the cake and then ask for half off. Right. Because you got to give it a, a, a shot. And then they say, no, can you imagine we what saw that you eating half the cake like, and then you, you can't have all, you, like you can't have half off. Just pay for the full cake. At that point, you should stop and say, hey, man, I was in the wrong. You got me cake right. handed. Right. Uh, you caught I'll me pay cake for handed. The, yeah. The whole the full cake. Yeah, I don't think I would make a big scene about it, but some people, yeah, a big stinker. And then the other one, whoa. Yeah, a little Swayze. You're watching the video show. You're seeing the summer of Swayze. I got to give it a little tussle here, here and there to keep the body fresh. Oh, boy. Uh, The woman, what did she do? What? Then, so that was it. She got arrested for that too? No, she got banned from Walmart. Oh, just a ban. Just banned. The cops came. They can't. What are they going to arrest her for? Here's she the, didn't leave with the merchandise. Yeah. And that's the thing you need to know is like in Walmart, you can do that shit. You might get ba- banned, but you, you're not going to get um, arrested because you didn't leave with the product. Eating a half a cake, in my opinion, is a very serious crime. If I were them. And again, I'm not I'm not in law enforcement. Sure. Uh, never pretended to be. Right. Um, Cause that's also a crime. Yeah, it is a crime. And uh, I, I, I <laughs> did wear an FBI hat once that, that said female body inspector on it. So eh, it's kind of dicey whether or not I was impersonating in a, in a federal agent. But with this, I would say, look, you ate half the cake. Sure. If you're trying to get out of here with, with, with this story intact, mm-hmm. boom, tase, tase first. You always, before you ask questions, you always tase. Tase first. Because yeah. I think, and again, I'm not a police officer. I'm not a scientist. Um, but I would imagine she would full on shit her pants. And, and then, then what is this going to solve? I'm you wondering. start sifting through that and looking for the cake evidence. Because if, right, so, okay, 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 okay. if it's a dark blue, like icing that's running through you right there, congratulations. You can find that. You can scoop that up and say, here's your half cake right here, lady. Okay, so Merck 5000, thank you. I'm not going on that road with you. <laughs> Were you stopping my story from? Yes, the- yes, yes. I'm just going to find out if there's. So Josh Pizzullo, by the way, your Instagram is soup sketchy, Merck. Why? But anyway. Why is it sketchy? It's one of those where it's like one post, no follower. Like, anyway. No, I understand get your, that. Get your Instagram you- going on, Merck. But anyway, then the second <laughs> one is. The second one, <laughs> real quick. Corners? Yeah, just really quick because it's from Shane Do Goodman. We, we got to have that break, brother. Oh we got to have again? the crime corner. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> yes. So Nevada trooper pulls over hearse in the carpool lane. And the driver points to the body and asks, he doesn't count or... So, <laughs> while transporting a corpse uh, doesn't qualify you for the carpool lane, Nevada yeah. Highway Patrol Trooper <laughs> Travis Smaka was on Interstate 15 on Monday when he noticed someone driving solo in the HOV lane. He really pulled over this hearse, stopped the car, dead body in the back. What's the ruling on that, actually? Well, I've got to say there's two people in there. The driver informed me, this is to the uh, highway patrol, the driver informed me that he had someone who was deceased in the back of the vehicle. Dang, that's fucking loud out there. It's a hailstorm. The trooper peered inside and sure enough, there was a dead body in the back. Um, so he says that doesn't count. And The cop said that doesn't count. Yeah, and the guy asked, like, it doesn't count? Uh, and... Uh, the guy's got a legitimate gripe. I would have rolled that body out right on the 405 and said, hey, so man. mannequins, so dead bodies, mannequins and pets don't count. And he ended up telling him. I understand pets. I understand mannequins. 
a dead body. If you're driving around a dead body all day and that's your job, you, think you that should be allowed to drive in the in the HOV lane with pride and be like, oh, shit. You got you to gotta roll. If that's your job every day is to roll around and drive dead bodies all over the city, dude, you've right. got to be comfortable in your own skin. Sure. Um, to say, hey, guy, I got a dead one with me. I got somebody on ice here. I need to get through traffic. I you just, know? I just like that whole exchange. But anyways. What if that was your grandfather? That's what I would have said to the cop. Hey, what if this was your grandfather? Wouldn't you want him to, to go to his next destination safely and as fastly as, as possible? God, it's been so nice here. Yeah. Is it Justin? Uh, disgusting Justin shows up. We Did got a bring, fucking hailstorm. It hail has been storm. gorgeous here. Yeah. Oh, here it he, Here, here it comes. comes. Here All right, it we, comes. Better, we better revolutionary figure. No, we're not going anywhere. I <laughs> um, want to talk about two things here on both of these crime corners. Okay. If you're a cop out there. Uh, and this is to all the police officers. Don't give anybody a ticket with a dead body in the car for the, uh, the, the HOV. Don't do it. That's a tough, that's a gonna, tough enough job already. They're going to do it. And it probably they, stinks a little bit. It's they're going to just follow the, th- follow the law nope, probably. But yeah. Don't. Make up your own law. No one's going to know that you did that. Let them go with the dead body. Now on the cake sitch. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of people who are getting tased these days and. Everybody's against cops for all that shit. Somebody eats a half a cake and lies about it. I think the police should be able to tase someone and comb through their shit to find out if they were lying about eating half a cake. Okay. So uh, that's the do's and the don'ts for, that we for cops that I from again the crime. This corner. is just my advice uh, to keep the streets safe and yourself sure. safe. Sure. Uh, and that's what I'm giving you right now. Uh, lastly, James, we got the revolutionary figure of the day. You know who's getting it today on the fourth. You know Your it's Betsy relative? Ross. Relative? Yes. yes, I knew it. I knew it. Happens every She's year. In the news right Happens now, every year. Kaepernick fucked her. <laughs> fucked her on her special <laughs> he day. Fucked over your family. Yeah, couldn't get any, any shoes <laughs> out to the people with her original American flag on it. I am angry. I am upset. This is Betsy Ross sewing her fucking ass off. Now she can't even get on a goddamn pair of, of Nikes. Come Air, on, man. Air Maxes at that? Yeah. Shit. I, at the end of this for the audio show, will you throw Ain't That America by John Mellencamp on here? Cougar. John Cougar Mellencamp. God. Ain't that America for you and me, but fucking ain't that America something to see? Rattlesnakes fighting, ain't that America? I need a prosthetic arm to jack myself off, yeah. Little brick houses for you and me. Cops, tase women, and comb through their shits. Uh, You're welcome. Happy (laughs) fourth, everyone. We don't know if Joey Chestnut won or not, if he broke the record. Saying yes in advance. Know that. Book it. Bank it. Love it. Learn it. Um, And just understand that it's the fourth. You're not going to have as much Jim Beam as you used to. So cut back on that butt sex, everyone. Uh, For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables. 40K, 40,000. 40,000 barrels equals 10.6 million fists. Oh, 40,000 barrels equals... Nobody is having butt sex this 4th of July. How many fifths is that, Jamie? 10.6 million. 10.6 no, million fifths. No, no one. Holy shit. And I am sorry about I that, I thought we guys. were getting out of here on a, on a nice, no, clean sorry. butt sex outro. Now right. I gotta now I gotta take it back. I gotta repack the REI backpack and say, it is more than 12,000 people that will not be having butt sex on 4th of July. I'm gonna, I'm gonna weigh up that number. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double it and say uh, more than double it. I'm gonna say 28,000. 28,416 final answer. That's how many people will not be having butt sex on the 4th of July because all of these Jim Beam fifths have been burned to the ground. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, guys. For Jesse Wiseman, Being on the front a.k.a. Lines. the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. It's the 4th of July. Put on a little cougar. Put on a little John Mellencamp for us, Jabes, and lead us all the way home. Good night, America. Good night. <laughs>